हेलो एंड वेलकम टू यूट्यूब चैनल गाइस आई एम अभिषेक पंड्या एंड यू आर वाचिंग द थर्ड पार्ट ऑफ थ्री पार्ट वीडियो सीरीज वेर आई एक्सप्लेन एवरीथिंग अबाउट ऑपरेशन एम्पलीफायर इन केस यू आर वांडरिंग व्हाट आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट क्लिक हियर एंड हियर टू वॉच द वीडियोज विच आई प्रीवियसली मेड इन द फर्स्ट पार्ट आई हैव एक्सप्लेन अबाउट द डिजाइन इक्वेशन द सर्किट पैरामीटर्स एंड द रिलेशन बिटवीन द डिजाइन पैरामीटर्स एंड सर्किट द सेकेंड पार्ट आई हैव एक्सप्लेन द कैलकुलेशन ऑफ डब्ल्यू बाई रेशियोज and in the third part which is this one i will explain the results and how to check the frequency response the sinusoidal response or tangent response and the dc response okay so let's start with the video so uh, here is the schematic as you can see in lt spice so uh, this is two stage cmos operation amplifier and if you want to know how uh, we have selected this w by l ratios you can check out uh, the video just here i will put it here in the part 2 okay now uh, i will just explain the results part right so basically three responses as i promised first is the dc response second is the transient response and then the frequency response all of the parts i will explain one by one okay so let's first start with the uh, dc response okay for the dc response what will you have the operating points right dot op signals okay. so uh, you have to put dot dot op here and give the same voltages vcm vcm to these two terminals which is differential input pair and uh, give one fixed voltage i am giving 1.6 volt here okay supply voltages are already given vdd and vss vdd is 2.5 and vss is minus 2.5 now what you have to do just press this run okay and you will be able to find out this different operating points okay so you can check out that is there is v out okay 0.89 volts then the supply voltage is vss minus 2.5 and vdd plus 2.5 okay then there was very important parameter tail current 90 microampere okay so it must flow from this particular resistor okay because this is the tail current uh, this current is flowing from here and here okay so r1 i of r1 is coming out to be what 18 i i this is 89.65 microamperes which is very near to 90 microampere okay so you can check out different uh, currents from here that is a uh, current from gate drain source and body terminals for each of the transistor you can find out from here okay you can also find out the currents from the capacitor and resistors okay so that is one one thing now uh, how to calculate the values of transconductance or how to get it from the lt spice okay so this is very important thing just go to view and go to spice error log okay remember this if you go here and you can see there are parameters given for each and every mosfet okay, or cmos okay so for m6 which is cmos p m4 which is cmos p or uh, m8 which is cmos n and so on for each of them we have current ids vgs vds gm gds and all the parameters okay so you can verify each and every parameter that we have uh, calculated in the second video with this video uh, and We can we can verify that whether these parameters which are which I am getting are correct or wrong. Okay, so for each and every transistor, you can go and do that. So basically, this is GM. It is coming out to be what 9.76 into 10 to the power minus 4, which is approximately 976 microsiemens. Okay, so same with the GDS, uh, you can do. So as we have calculated the parameters, you can go and check them out. So this is the method to find out the uh, DC parameters of an uh, two-stage CMOS operation amplifier. now the second thing okay so what is the second thing the transient response so for getting that just first remove this so dot op this put semicolon and it will be removed and remove semicolon from this uh, transient uh, 10m uh, and you will find out the transient response okay so so basically this is this is what this is the 10 millisecond waveform so for 10 millisecond we will have a transient response okay so for the transient response what you have to do press v at the sinusoidal signal okay add sinusoidal signal go to advance go to sine let's go here and put 1 millivolt signal okay then the frequency right now take 1 kilohertz okay and just press okay and uh, now give the in okay just go here label net and go this v in so just capital v in for the okay and go then just put it here as well okay and remove this vcm from here 
so just go and remove that okay fine so now this is ready for the second response so what we have done we have added a sinusoidal signal so then we can find out the output swing and what amplification has happened okay so just press on this run and you will be able to see this for 10 millisecond the graph just go here and press this this is v in and just go here and just do this so this is v out and for this particular screen and plot plane just go to v in and now uh, if you want to check the uh, swing just right click on this just do this and we have two cursors right so this is the first thing and the second cursor which is you can be put here yep. so the difference you can see from this particular dialog box that the signal is of 2 millivolts okay so that is peak to peak 2 millivolts of course now uh, we have v out okay so just do that as well here okay Yep. so it is what it is 65 millivolts okay you can read from this dialog box so we have uh, input signal which has peak to peak value of 2 millivolt and we have output signal which has peak to peak uh, signal of 865 millivolts okay so the gain is approximately 400 and second thing is that the signals which are v in, v in and v out are out of phase so this is you can see this is the lowest one this is the highest point so that is very important thing now go here and now we will go to the third thing which is the frequency response so just remove this and just go here and just semicolon put and then then this remove the semicolon from here okay so these are the uh, things we do and just go here go to none ac amplitude we need to put ac signal here so yeah this is the v in and this is vcm okay this is just fine just press on this remove this oh sorry this please expand okay so this is the v, v out signal okay so look at it this is the magnitude response and this is the phase response okay. so uh, here we have we are given with the values of the magnitude in the dbs you can change that by right clicking on it but i am not changing it right now here you have a phase responses okay. so you have degrees given so now for checking it just right click on this add cursors okay. so first cursor let's just take the first cursor so what gain we are getting so we are getting the gain of 53 dbs okay which was correct uh, because we were getting the exact same uh, approximately 53 uh, db gain in the sinusoidal response as well so okay verify this signal and then uh, this is a uh, phase of it okay so that is very important then you can see the cutoff frequency as well so just go move here and it is 53 dbs right so you can find out 50 db signal so basically if you look at this particular dialog box and when you hit 50 dbs approximately yes yeah, so you have hit 50 dbs okay so for that uh, the frequency is approximately 10 kilohertz which is also verified right that was also very important parameter now the second thing that is the gain bandwidth product okay so just find out where the gain becomes 0 db okay so just move here and you can check the gain from here so whenever it is reaching approximately let's say 40 db or uh, let's say 40 db or something like that so let's say 40 milli db right you can check this for milli db approximately 0, 0.0 uh, we have got right okay so for that uh, what we are getting it is approximately uh, this is 1 megahertz right this is 2 megahertz this is 3 this is 4 this is 5 so approximately 4, 4 point something megahertz which is approximately 5 megahertz so gain bandwidth product which was initially selected out to be 5 megahertz which is also verified okay so this is how you can verify the uh, different parameters okay you can also check the phase response okay so just click on this and you can now are on you are around the phase response you can see the uh, different angles gain margin phase margin you can check from this frequency response and all the things you want okay so this we have yet not included the layout part in this particular video series i think we will make one more video about the layout of this opamp so that was the video series guys uh, if you like this video series 
and if you find value in this video then please like it share it subscribe to my channel write down your thoughts and comments in the comment section and i will meet you in the next one happy learning Tell me pretty lies, look me in the face, tell me that you love me, even if it's